Okay, so welcome to my channel. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about this uh, prime location public housing. I think it's a can I maybe I should call it as a cooling measure lah. But frankly speaking, do I really see it as a cooling measure? Let's go into the details now. Let's go. Okay, I tell you this topic. Uh, a lot of people talk about it. Even straight time, I see there's like two to three articles that's already coming to talk about this, and also uh, they will say experts say experts say. Okay, so anyway, I just want to do a a conclusion of it, lah, okay? A conclusion of the saga. No, 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 not saga. The conclusion of this uh, prime location public housing. Anyway, I I will share with you my comments and my views at the last part of the video. So first of all, let's go to the article, okay? Let's go! Okay, so the first thing about the article. Firstly, I have to uh, summarize is that it only applies to future project. Number one. Number two, there's a crawlback. On, on the grant or subsidies we, we are not too sure but there's a call, call back oh, and a rebate uh, on this uh, percentage of the subsidies that's given to you but of course that will be announced and it will be actually put forward to you before you buy lah you know then later there's a lower quota for priority of parents meaning that uh, let's say you uh, your parents stay near the city area then you have this quota or you stay near city area the parents want to stay near you then you get to have a priority quota so they're going to reduce this quota then the next is a 10 years mop okay 10 years mop is very long imagine you buy this uh, plh uh, prime location public housing 10 years mop means uh, you buy uh, let's say, uh, uh, let's say the Rocho one, uh, you buy, you wait 4 to 5 years for it to be ready, then you stay another 10 years, that's 15 years, eh. so if you are like 30 year old, by the time you can sell away, it's already 45 year old, it's crazy, okay, but anyway, all these are not important, uh. next, okay, uh, okay, so the thing is, after this 10 years NOP, right, you can buy private, but the thing is, you cannot rent out your HDB. So what does it mean, okay? It means that you can buy private, but you cannot stay in the private. You have to go back and stay at your HDB, okay? Then the next one, cannot rent out the whole unit. Can only rent out rooms. Okay, okay, this one, uh, I tell you, you all uh, confirm must be thinking like, uh, lock one room, lock one room. Come on, guys. I mean, I haven't, I never thought about this, lah. but let me summarize. If you go to the HDB website and see about room rental, right? Room renter, the tenant, the landlord got to stay in the house. If I want to rent out my rooms, I have to make sure that I'm staying in the unit, not stay at my mother's house, then once in a while come back, and then lock one room, then think that the government's stupid. Okay, anyway, I've seen a lot of lock one room situation, and i also seen a lot of people got fined for lock one room. So come on, rent rooms means you as the owner must still be staying in the unit okay so don't don't bend the rules lah okay don't bend the rules next who can buy family only so from what i see from the article is that other schemes cannot buy no whether is it uh at the start as a bto or as a resale other scheme can buy only family can buy okay then they kept at fourteen thousand. okay i don't know if you all understand this okay let me just do a rough calculation for you lah okay so for young people uh, if your income is fourteen thousand, your household income really max fourteen thousand. Uh, if you can borrow for 25 years you still can loan eight hundred and thirty eight thousand, around eight hundred and thirty eight thousand. okay so let me reduce it lah reduce it to let's say 15 years so if you are 50 years old you can only loan 15 years Okay, with a 14,000 max income, you can only loan 587,000. Actually, if you ask me, I feel that this 14,000 is not a big impact. Because according to my calculation, still got many people can take max loan. Okay, but this is the problem now. I think uh, what happened in the prime location HDB is that there's a lot of cash over value around. So... I think it's being assumed in a way la, that if you have, let's say, less than uh, 14,000 income, maybe the cash over value part, the strength and the capability of the person will be lesser. So it may reduce cash over value. I'm not too sure, but I feel that this 14,000 is, uh, is okay. You know, it restrict people of the higher income to actually buy this kind of house. But uh, I will still say that it's not, good enough lah it's not good enough 
okay because uh, i don't see too much uh, effect okay so anyway let, let's skip this part i don't want to share so much here i'm going to share the last part of the video okay also to buy you must not own private for 30 months and anyway this private for 30 months has been there for bto as well as a uh, hdb loan so uh and also for ec also so must not own private for 30 months okay i think it's okay Okay, so actually this is a very quick summarize. Like, I don't want to be going through anyway. You can read this in the newspaper article. I don't want to be going through all these uh, all these restrictions and all these schemes. But the main thing is what do I think about this measure? Actually, first of all, I feel that frankly speaking, uh, what I say now is all my personal opinion. Uh, okay, because I can firstly uh, this prime location public housing uh, is for the future project means the project that is coming out and this project that is coming out is actually um is actually new meaning that people will only take keys five years later okay and then they only stay 10 years later then they can sell means this effect uh, will only take place 15 years later to the resale market i feel that it's a little bit too late lah. i feel that it's a little bit too late because this scheme doesn't apply to the current prime uh, public housing means the resale public housing like Duxton la, uh, 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 whatsoever and can you imagine if now the current public housing let's say in uh, Duxton in, in I don't know what they name as Prime or Dawson or whatever if it doesn't apply to all these public housing uh, but it only applies to Rocho and the others in the future then it doesn't it doesn't make sense you know you are helping the current public housing the prime one to continue to grow up because they are the one that's not restricted so they are the only ones that people if you really want to buy and you don't meet any of these criteria like 14k or don't own private then you can buy one right then it doesn't really help the pricing i mean the effect doesn't take into impact now okay and the next thing is yes callback and subsidies and grant whatsoever i think this is uh, the same thing i'm going to say is only 15 years later then we will see this problem okay uh, lower quota for priority okay i agree this one maybe you give more people a chance to own it but again 15 years is very long la. okay 15 years i buy now 15 years later then i can sell then five years later then i can take key then i have to stay for 10 years i'm like wow this is crazy man so i frankly speaking i feel that this 10 years mop all this all this thing is is good it's not saying it's not good but it defeats the purpose of affecting the current resale market whereby the prime properties are above a million uh, cov are two three hundred thousand and then people are buying it like like nobody's business i mean i feel that again uh, i'm not jealous come on if you all know me well uh, i see i see public housing as public housing i feel that public housing got to be public housing you know it got to be fair to everybody and i feel that it has to be something that the government is protecting because it's for the future generations as well as the younger couples that want to set up a family okay so i feel that all this impact doesn't really um uh, directly affect the current resale market much to be frank okay but again uh i realized that in this whole plh uh, Prime, primely location public housing in the article uh, the minister did say a sentence they say it's not cast in stone okay so how do i uh, how do i uh, react to this i, I feel that y'all have to really watch la. i feel that this is like a warning shot because the government is going to launch this rocho video so while they launch this rojo bto they want to create a scheme okay this is just my thought uh. this is just my thought uh. they want to create a scheme to protect this rojo bto from getting the same problem as the rest of the prime area location hdb videos so they while they are going to release rojo they they came out with this scheme to protect this plot of rojo bto's first but again, I believe la, they are also looking into expanding this scheme. This is why a lot of things is written inside. It wrote that it's not cast in stone. Meaning that a lot of changes can still be done. And uh, they can still be implementing new things. Uh, to me, this is a warning shot. Uh, it's like, 
giving a warning to everybody to say that hey you all are we are watching the market you know we are doing something uh, how much more will they do i'm not too sure but again i believe more should be done in the hdb resale market uh private i do understand is that if you got money then you go for it lah you know and uh, after all with the absd is already protecting the th the singaporeans from the uh, rich foreigners that may be investing in our country so i think that's already fair but for hdb i feel that more uh things have to be done to protect the future generations and to control the resale pricing lah because uh I feel that the biggest problem now is cash over value. If the cash over value is not being regulated properly, you will realize that many, many Singaporeans, even with the current CPF scheme, if they don't save enough cash, they won't be able to pay the cash over value. So uh, I hope this video gives you a rough idea. To be frank, currently, I feel that this this uh, measure, or you do you call it a cooling measure, to me, I don't think it's cool enough. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this measure is going to make any difference to the market at least for the next six to six months to a year or at least to the next time they actually say something about the resale market because this thing doesn't really affect the resale market frankly I feel that more can be done okay so that's it for today's video uh, I I personally feel that this cooling measure is not exciting enough so I'm pretty sure this video will not be exciting enough because actually this cooling measure is not going to affect anybody. It's just going to affect people that's going to buy the roadshow piece of land. Correct or not? So I feel that um, you hope you all understand and, and I think there's a lot of uh, talking and discussion. I think it's bullshit lah to me. I feel that it's not, it's not going to make a much impact especially to any of the resale prime properties or overall as a resale market or will it even affect the prior property shock right you're shocked with my analysis right okay so hit the like button subscribe button. i'll see you in the next episode and we hope that the government do more to help protect the hdb market see you in the next episode and bye bye